So here we are at Word Camp, Sacramento, yay! <laughs> Cre- creating a live podcast. It's going to be a podcast, so it's not really live, but creating one on stage. And it's going to be that everyone can do this. And what you'll find is this is the iPhone without any mics, nothing's hooked into it. But if I was looking more this way, you'll find the sound is very, very good. The iPhone is an extremely good platform to start learning how to speak and talk and create that first podcast. So what you want to do is you want to take your iPhone out and create two or three short little podcasts with a friend, just holding it like this, two minutes each. And then what we'll do is we'll put it into YouTube, we'll shoot it up and bring it back down, then we'll separate the sound, and then we'll put it up in the lips in the server, and then we'll hook it to iTunes and we'll be done. We'll throw a little artwork in there too. You can literally do all that in a couple hours. And so if you're thinking about podcasting, That's the way to start. And there's three levels that go past this. So let me hook into here so we can watch the rest of the show. And that's good. And I'm gonna uh, keep an eye on you guys. Gotta put the mic in. Let's put a a little lab mic on so they can hear me now because the iPhone's back there. So let's get started with the regular presentation. Again, my name's Bill Conrad. Um, I'm the founder of uh, National Association of Podcasters, and my idea is to get closer to WordPress. Because WordPress is doing it right. $40 for this convention, it's not high. We all break entries. We've got people of all types. We've got wealthy people here. We've got people just learning. We've got students. We've got all ages. You know, we talk about an avatar. What's the WordPress avatar? It's everybody, which is good. So if we can even get close to what WordPress is doing in the National Association of Podcasters and get more people communicating and talking, that'll be great. So let me give you some ideas and I'm today and show you how you can first start your podcast. So what is a podcast? It, uh, we'll go over that equipment, uh, produce and edit, media server. I'll give you some ideas how you can monetize to locally, mostly locally. No visions of making a lot of money, just locally monetize. And then finally, WordPress and WordPress agency specifically, how you can use those. So basically, a podcast it was first uh, came up in the dictionary in 2004. And iTunes had a lot to do, um, Apple had a lot to do with it. And it was basically when the iPod came out and broadcast, and they called it you know, the podcast. And that's, that's where it evolved. Basically, it's an RSS feed, which is very simple technology that probably will evolve into something else in, in the near future because so many things are changing. Um, you can see the iTunes, the, just the evolution of it, and then podcatchers being like iTunes is a podcatcher basically for your podcast, your apps, uh, Stitcher, Ellipse, uh, there are a lot of different podcatchers, places where you listen or they capture your audio to download it. So I made it, this is the third time I've done this presentation. I just threw this slide in. I started this presentation two years ago, and this is only the third time I've actually given it. But there's a short little course, and here's the whole idea of creating that podcast in the first you know, four hours. I can't tell you how many people go out and create a very complex podcast, and they want perfect sound, and they don't get it. They work months trying to get the perfect sound and create it, and they, then they can't figure out how to get it up, and they get frustrated, and they quit, and they never get off the ground. So there's two things with podcasting. We don't want to see people pod fade, so we want to be realistic when we go to podcasts. We want to get your podcast up, we want to make it simple, we want to practice, we want to make it fun. Start it as a hobby, don't start it as a business, and don't think about getting rich overnight. But what it can do, you can wake up one day, and all of a sudden, man, this, this podcast helped my WordPress agency, or something happened. It, things will happen with a podcast, it's a way to connect. So let me go over these steps again. As I talked about, we got the iPhone, remember to record your two minute video, download it on your, on your computer, you can use a PC or a Mac, I like Mac, I've gone to Mac as you'll see later. Upload it to to YouTube. There's a reason why you want to upload it to YouTube. In the last year, YouTube has done an amazing job of levelating their sound. So they they get the sound, they'll fix it, and they shoot it back down and just strip out the sound. And we'll talk about that later. So um, here's how I started. And this is really very inexpensive equipment. This is the second level once you've done your, your audio on YouTube. I mean, your audio on the iPhone. So those are two ATR2100s. There's another mic that I probably recommend, the ATR2005. They're both about the same. The 2005 might cost three or four dollars more, selling for $61 right now on YouTube. It uses a USB connection and goes right into your computer, both of them. 
And that's how you want to start. That'll give you a 98% solution to an extremely professional podcast. Those two arms, those arms are like, I forgot, $17 or $18 a piece. But that's how you start. Don't spend a lot of money initially. So ATR 2100, you don't need an RL5 recorder, but, but uh, that's a backup. Okay, here's what my studio looks like today. You notice there's no PCs in there. I still like PCs, but there's nothing in the production or the art side because Mac is just, just too good. So the iMac um, is what I went to for editing, and that really helped me out later on when I went to the third level of podcasting, which we'll talk about. Heil PR40, beautiful microphone, cost about $300, almost $400, gorgeous sound, but very close to the ATR2100. Um, the 2D6 preamp is nice, there should be a mixer in there too. Uh, Zoom H6, you want to grab that Zoom? The box? I'm going to pass around the Zoom H6, Steve is going to bring it over and hand it to me. Uh, the lighting, uh, lighting costs about $50, and the reason why you're lighting for your second stage. Camera, Logitech 920 for uh, Skyping and doing the next level. Everyone see a Zoom, by the way? This is a Zoom, so thanks. Um, go ahead and pass this around, just look at it, because eventually you all want to get a Zoom. They're beautiful pieces of equipment. Uh, Logitech camera, you can sort of see at the top of the computer. Uh, iPhone, and uh, you can see the iPhone to the right, because what you can do is you can use your Logitech, you can run your iPhone, and then later on in what I call third level podcasting, you can take shots from different angles. And then a timer. See that little timer down there? I really wanted my timer for my event here, and I thought I stuck it in my bag. But I always have a timer when I'm doing podcasts, so I can check with my, if I'm interviewing somebody, I can stay on schedule. That timer is really important. So let's get into the auditing, editing. So when you first start those first podcasts with your phone, two minutes, I don't want you to do any editing. I just want you to shoot it up on YouTube, shoot it back down, load it onto Lipson, and get it on iTunes. Just so you can prove to yourself, you can listen to yourself on iTunes. It's really fun to see your stuff on iTunes. You may not, no one will listen to you initially, but it's fun to get it going. Plus, as you build those small episodes, if you keep that original channel up, it will actually help it in the long run grow. GarageBand, it's sort of free. It's a really good uh, system. I, I do not recommend Adasi later on. This is stage two we're into. Adasi uses the Lehman quarter, it's the MP3, and it really screws up your sound. Because you want to get your MP3 as small as possible. That's the format that we use when we upload. And the Fraunhofer, I can't even say it right, but the German encoder, Fraunhofer, uh, is by far the best encoder in the world. And it's licensed, and GarageBand and Adobe are the two who absolutely have it and use it. Um, Lipson, let's talk about the media server. Okay, so now on our, on our podcast, we've, we've put it on the iPhone, we've, de we've uploaded to iTunes, I mean YouTube, we've downloaded it, and we stripped out the sound. We've actually added artwork, and the artwork, you can just clip a frame off your Mac and stick it up of a picture, because I don't want you to do a lot of work on the artwork. Now you're going to uh, upload it to Libsyn, L-I-B-S-Y-N. Now there's two big organizations I really like who are stable. It's a blue, blue, uh, Blueberry, which I love the people in Blueberry. They've actually uh, taken very good care of me and taken me to conventions. And there's Libsyn. But Libsyn for $5 a month, you're going to get a real good media host. And uh, you have a podcast. I know you're just talking about you wish you were on Libsyn. Um, if we, um, we're very happy with our... Yeah, Blueberry. You have Blueberry? No, we have Audioboom. Okay, Audioboom, okay. But if we um, had gone another way, yeah. we started with Podbean and quickly, like, outgrew yeah. it. Now, you don't want Podbean. We, no, we would have absolutely, if we were not with our current yeah. one, we would be with Well, learn Lipson. $5 a month. Lipson's a great place to start. A lot of great people in this industry. And as long as we're on this page, I want to show you something. This is my training uh, site called the Ron and Bill Show com. We made, that's what we made the free podcast course on. And you can see it on there, sort of faded up. We didn't promote it. I sort of transitioned that into EO Secrets, which is like any way of making money online. And it's amazing how fast that show is growing. It's kind of strange how it targets. It's not my favorite show, but it's amazing how fast it starts growing. Okay, let's talk about the website. Once you've got your podcast up, you're listening to your stuff on iTunes, you're going to want to build a platform. Now, when I, I got, I was in the military, got out, and I built websites before 9-11 and around after 9-11, but I had to relearn websites when I got out, and WordPress was the platform I decided to use. So I got with Jonathan Dinwood, I don't know if he's here today, but WP Tonic, I started WP Tonic with Jonathan, there's Jonathan. Best, if you're listening, you want to learn WordPress, listen to WP Tonic, wp-tonic.com, and it's a very good WordPress, uh, I mean WordPress-oriented podcast, 
it is, um, it's ranked as two or three, it's as high as two or three in this category. But it does really well, it's a good show. Anyway, we built it. He has been the host, I was the co-host initially. We interviewed, this is an advantage of podcasting, we interviewed the, the, top pod, uh, the top WordPress people and agency owners in the world. About Matt Mullenweg is about the only person I know who hasn't been on it. When's Matt coming on, John? Is it? <laughs> John Matt, you need to come on WP Tonic. I, I'd like to come at least on the, uh, he has two shows. One is like a one-on-one -on -one interview with a co-host, and then they do a round table, which is using, um, he uses Zoom US now, but we started by using other free things. Anyway, this is just a basic Genesis form. A couple of thoughts about the Word, uh, WordPress site. Some people use the podcast to monetize and build their company, and they'll have like a landing page, and I've done that too. But a real WordPress uh, podcast site should be nice and simple. It's just a blog. So these are just blogs, and you can see them. A little advertisement on the side. And then um, this is what I call WordPress 3. If you notice on the top, you've got the uh, player, and that's the iTunes. You get an iTunes or wherever where you're playing it. Down below, you have the YouTube. So what I've done later on in more advanced areas is once we learned the basics of podcasting, we've done the Skype, and Jonathan, you're at level two still with your mic, which is fine. That's not, most people go level two. But what we'll do now is we'll just create a video. We'll put them together. By the way, I forgot to clap. Anyone, anybody know why I clapped? Yeah, yeah I have synced the sound. Um, anyway, level three will go up. We'll, we'll create a video, and the, with the video, we will, um, we will actually do all the editing on the video, some really easy editing stuff now, just like we would on just the audio, and do it fast, learn to do it, and then put in stuff. So we'll create the video, then we'll strip out, we'll put that up on YouTube, and it's getting like 1,000, 2,000 views. We'll put that, the audio over in a podcast, and they help each other. They build off of each other, and they send it to the WordPress site. So it's a great way to start building your audience, sort of level three. So hobby to business. Let me talk very slowly on this, quickly on this. Timelines is my favorite show, but it's the worst show for monetization. I interview people. Um, basically, I interview most people around Reno, Nevada, and it helps my wife in real estate. We talked about Jonathan's mail rights, another show. EO Secrets is about making money online. And Meet the Voter. Every person who builds websites could help local politicians by creating a sh teaching them how to do a short podcast, which you can learn to do pretty fast, and get their audio up on their website. So that's where you can all use a podcast if you're a developer. So here's the way traditionally people make money. Affiliate marketing, sponsors, digital products, membership sites, books, coaching, speaking, and offline businesses. By far, the last one is the place where you can make money. So here's your basic affiliates. These are all the ones that I... Just go back there. Sorry. Did I spell something wrong? Okay. Thank you. Hey, you can go to um, podcastershome.com forward slash presentation. And this whole presentation is on PDF. Well, well, I'll explain that. Let me hit that last. Um, so here's your basic affiliates. I've had all these affiliates. I think WP 101 is a great place for people to basically learn the basics of WordPress. They have a great plugin you can put on your websites to help your um, clients learn the basics of WordPress. Web hosting, I love SiteGround, and EO Secrets is um, Basically, it started as an MLM experiment and it's turned into any way to make money online. It's actually doing pretty well. Uh, podcaster sponsors. These are the bigger sponsors around. Um, Midroll, if you notice, there's about three big agencies, but Midroll is the number one agency to, once you get 3,000 downloads, you're going to be able to monetize your podcast through Midroll and you'll make pretty good money. One podcast I helped found and create has made over $1,000 a month, and that's, that's good. And uh, Jonathan, who is that? <laughs> so, um, so it, anyway, digital products, if you build a digital product, you, you, you push it on your podcast. Uh, membership sites, again, you can promote a membership site or bring your members on your podcast. Ebooks, coaching, um, I love this speaker, I love that guy, he's like creative co content, so. And uh, offline businesses, let's talk about offline businesses. I accident, by accident I discovered that we're really making more money on offline businesses, something show called Timelines of Success. Timelines did not do really well in numbers, but what I found is anytime I interviewed somebody locally, I found that they let their friends and family listen to it, and folks, and my wife, who's a real estate broker, would, got at least $50,000 worth of transactions from my local interviews. So I started doing more and more local interviews. I do at least, 
on timelines, at least um, four out of five interviews are going to be local. And I've interviewed from the congressman to the mayor, uh, 280 shows. Um, the so this chase, and then like a flower shop. But you could, for your clients, I would recommend you maybe teach your clients how to use your website, maybe do a podcast, interview their clients, the people who come in, or make some kind of positive thing about their flower shop, whatever it might be in your community. Podcasting actually is more successful locally than, than nationally. Figure there's only about 300 people nationally are going to hit it big. But locally, you can be a star in your community. So questions to what makes up a good WordPress site, we sort of talked about that. You can sort of see the differences. I still like the timelines, which is your basic blog. I've, I've played around now with um, welcome gates and things of that nature to grab email. Jonathan's is over the right. I always give him a hard time. I love giving Jonathan a hard time. <laughs> EO Fire, probably some of you heard of uh, John Lee Dumas. He makes $2 million a year in podcasting. He did some amazing things. And, but I, I, I gotta say, not many people can do what he did or have the timing, so I wouldn't try to make $2 million in podcasts. But it's, it's the things around it. So, um, and then Audacity to Podcast is also a good site. I like their website. Uh, these are some of the training. That's the free training coming up. And Podcasters Home Course, I'm gonna update it. It's been out for six months. I'm gonna put a new free course up probably in the next 30 days and it'll be even faster to make that free podcast course. So, so if you stick your email address in there, uh, you'll have the links and I'll send you information. But, uh, and finally in closing, I'm trying to start the uh, National Association of Podcasters, again modeled more off of how we're set up here in WordCamp. WordCamp is an excellent platform for teaching and education. And if we can just do a fraction and use some of that model, I think it would be good and to uh, allow everyone to podcast and to create not just podcasts, but vlogs. Um, the vlog is a powerful thing, even if you don't want to podcast. Oh, one last story. About two years ago, I did a vlog with the top podcasters. I did it on Skype, and, I used, and we, we just interviewed, and I made 12 of them. And I thought, this is a good way to test if a podcast would work by just interviewing the very top podcasters. And um, one of the top people in Lipson told me he didn't think it would work, so I didn't do it. And in retrospect, I'm doing it now. I'm, I'm working that side, the podcaster's home side. And it was called Podcaster's Home. But a good way to taste your podcast, and I've got to finish up here, would be to good, make two or three or four episodes on YouTube, listen and look at them, and then think about how they would sound when you put them up on the podcast. So with that, um, I have a couple little things to hand around if you want to look. If this is a Rode mic, it plugs right into the iPhone. We're still back there. I've got some little mics here. Could you, Steve, could you hand me those? Huh? I can't hear. Um, so this is an excellent mic for an iPhone. It's the uh, iRig. Here's, uh, again, you're, you're podcasting without spending any money. This is the iRig Laugh. You get two of them to plug in if you want to do local, intervie local interviews. And then finally, the reason why I got to more and more of this, because I interview people locally in Reno, Nevada. I interview them anywhere. I, right after major speaking events, I've interviewed congressmen. Um, and I carry these tools to use. Um, also, the, um, it, the ATR20, or um, the H6, I use two big mics. And then finally, what not to get. Don't get this. Every podcaster used to get this. Don't get this. <laughs> It's overpriced and it's inconsistent. Do get the uh, ATR2100 or the 2005 when you start to plug in. And that's it. Uh, anything, any questions? Go ahead, sir. Well, let's get him on the mic. Where's the H6? <laughs> oh, it's okay. I'll get it back. <laughs> yeah. There's only a couple minutes for, for okay. questions. If you will. Do, the other, do you want to come up too? What say a question for me? Well, okay. Question? Yeah. What? Uh, What's the point of uh, just not using YouTube as it is? You know, I thought about that to tell the truth. And the reason why is the smartphone is amazing. It's back here so I can't hold it up. But I listen to a lot of podcasts when I'm doing the dishes or driving or traveling. And you can't watch video when you're doing that. So they really work in contrast together. And sometimes when I'm working on the computer, I'll have another one over here. And I'll listen to a YouTube. But I think there, if you put a podcast up, there's absolutely no reason to not put YouTube up. In fact, YouTube has its own podcast channel now. By the way, not, I want to, some of these guys are making a small fortune in podcasting. Go look at their YouTube numbers and see what they are. And say, now, why are they so low and their podcast is so high? 
I can't quite figure that out myself. But if you look at my YouTube numbers, and we use some tricks in there and we work it, we market it, they're all over a thousand now views, and some of them are three and four and five thousand. One's ten thousand. And they bounce back and forth between the iTunes, uh, podcast and the YouTube. But the YouTube is a great place to start initially, to sort of outline or build for virtually free what you think your podcast is going to be. The big thing is on YouTube is you just can't, it's, it's streaming, so you can't download it like onto an iPhone and listen to it. So we have to go now. Uh, I want to thank you. Wonderful WordCamp. It's good to see you all audience. Thank you, Sacramento, for all your hospitality. This is Bill, and this is the outro. And if you're listening on YouTube instead of iTunes or on a podcast, go right up here, right above me, right here, and subscribe on YouTube. Also, we'd like you to subscribe on the podcast, of course. And then over here, if you're on the YouTube, you can see the link to EO Secrets, the website, which is eosecrets.com, really tough. And also, you can see some of the other recommended videos to watch. How's that?